everybody, I'm Katie. For this week's art and design topic, we'll be focusing on using type as form. Letters and words have not always stuck to the traditional 12-point Times New Roman font, as we all know. Many artists have taken them off the page and onto canvas or more artistic mediums. If you search for typographic form in Pinterest, Behance, any of those sites, you'll see plenty of examples but they're usually basic black and white letters rotated and resized to be created into the shape of an object. I would be absolutely thrilled if anyone who does the projects from these videos made something to that effect, but I'm going to show you some examples that also go beyond that, just so you see how far it can be pushed and how creative people have gotten with it, because I think it's really interesting to see and explore. So here is a more basic one that was really popular since it was printed on McDonald's cups in Australia. These were done by an illustrator named Sean Williams in 2014. You can see he uses letters to create silhouettes of musicians, the words he chose being different music subgenres. All he's doing is manipulating the shape of the letters to create the image. Even if you don't have a fancy design program, you can still do something to the same effect, even with just rotating or resizing letters. Layering, creating a texture for shading. Really experiment with this project. A common exercise is to create a portrait of yourself using nothing but letters, so you could try that out. Our next example comes from Paula Cher who is a graphic designer, painter, art educator, and somebody that I have always admired. I have read a few of her books, and speaking of her books, she has one entirely dedicated to hand-painted maps. But not just any maps, maps that are filled completely with type. Though the book was published in 2011, the project began back in the 90s. And these are huge paintings. Some are 12 feet tall. They're, they're very impressive but the use of type almost as image is what makes them really interesting. And although it's not exactly the same idea as the McDonald's Cups project, it's close enough to where I think we can still appreciate what she accomplishes. Every little bit of negative space that she could squeeze a word into, she did. And you don't really see them as individual words anymore. They are the map that they help make up. It also goes more into data visualization territory. But if you ever want to read a good book about typography, she is one of the first authors I would point you toward because she is a very famous designer and I love her work. The last example I will highlight is Revolutionary by Wadsworth Jarrell, which was done in 1971. Jarrell is a painter, sculptor, and printmaker. This piece is a portrait of Angela Davis, who is a political activist, philosopher, and author. She was a Black Panther Party leader at the time this was created. And if you look closely at this piece, you can see she's surrounded by words like resist and revolution. So not only did Jarell use the type in this poster as forms, you know, shaping it into the shadows of her cheek or her clothing, but he used it to convey the theme as well. He pushed it a little bit further. He also has a great use of color and texture too. This is just an overall really compelling piece to me, and it's because of the use of the words. You have to absorb it in a few different ways. You look at it as an overall image, then you read it, then you understand its deeper meaning and context, and at that time, you would hopefully be taking action because of it. So my challenge for you is to create something out of letters or words. You can rotate them, resize them, layer them, change the color, distort them. Do whatever you need to do to get whatever effect you choose to go after with them. For those who don't have a robust design software like Adobe Illustrator, I'm again going to recommend Canva. It's a pretty simple interface and it's free to use. You can do most of the things I mentioned like rotating and whatnot, so give it a try and see what you can come up with. Do a self-portrait out of the letters or a portrait of your dog using only the word woof. Get creative and as always, share with us what you create. You can post pictures right to our Facebook page. Ha 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 ha.